In this episode, I'm filming an interview live from St. Louis at the GKIC Info Summit with big money speaker James Malinchuk. We're going to talk all about the importance of relationships, so stay tuned. Well, here's a great example. Um, people who are in places of influence, if you will, do something for someone else, mm -hmm. and that person doesn't even have the courtesy to send a thank you note. Right. Sending a thank you note is being a giver yeah. and a server, and they can't even do that. Right. Why would that person ever want to go the extra mile for that person again? And so to, if you have nothing to give, like you may think, well, what can I give right. to this person? Thank them for something that they have done or you learn. I just sent uh, a, one of my friends is uh, Brian Tracy, who's a legendary author and speaker and trainer. And for no reason at all, I just sent him in the mail the other day a note with a Starbucks card saying, you know, Brian, I was sitting here thinking about um, how much you've influenced my life through your books and your CDs and speaking at my events and things. And I just wanted to say thank you. And that's the only reason I'm sending this note. By the way, have a cup of, of Starbucks on me. I love that. For no other reason. To yeah. just say thank you. Right. Because, you know, I felt like he, he poured so much into me over the years. And he has. He paved the way. Mm -hmm. One of the guys that paved the way for me as a speaker. So why shouldn't I just out of blue send him a thank you? So if you, right. you want to serve and you don't think, like, you can give something to somebody, send a note. Find a note. Send any, put a Facebook post. Send a tweet. Mm -hmm. Do something. And just show appreciation. I love that. Gratitude. You know, even if... Yeah, because, you know, I might think, well, what can I have to offer somebody who has, you know, way more money than me or way more success? You know, you offer your soul, you offer your gratitude, and we're all people. That means so much. Mm -hmm. So that's such great advice. Do you have anything else to share for people who want to learn how to build better relationships to grow in business? Yeah, it, it's, um, it's all about positioning as well. Mm -hmm. You know, how do people think of you? Right. Uh, how do they talk about you? Do, uh, so so people say like, well, I gotta go network first. We're not networking, we're building relationships, right. Mm -hmm. right? And people think that it's about who they say they know. No, 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 it's about who knows you mm -hmm. and how they think about you and how they talk to others about you. So you gotta examine how you position and just by being a server, positions you totally different than everybody else who goes at people being a taker. Let's take business. You know, one of the worst pieces of advice that I see these, these business people, gurus, teach others is go to an event and take hundreds of business cards. What? <laughs> and walk up to people and slam people in the face with a business card. Oh, that makes me feel special. Right. Like, and you know what you're saying is call me if you need a plumber. Call me if you need a financial advisor. Call me if you need a so-and-so. And what you just told me is you don't give a, a rat's butt about me. Right. All you care about is you think I can help you with something. And that's why you slammed me with a business card. So don't take business cards and go walk up to people and slam them with a business card because nobody cares unless you show you care about them first. James, at your live events, do you see any big mistakes being made by your attendees that are coming and they're enthusiastic and they want to build JVs and everything? What are some of the mistakes people are making? Oh, when they you know, the big thing, and it comes to relationships also, is that they don't live in other people's worlds. Meaning, they walk up and start pitching products. And, hey Jessica, would you promote my book? It's coming out. Yeah. Or I got this great, and they start fire hosing people from being enthusiastic about them. Because all you're doing is telling me about your stuff. And I don't really care. Nobody really cares. You gotta understand, so, so remember this rhyme. When you meet someone new, they don't wanna talk about you. Mm -hmm. Hey, think about this. Who do people want to talk about? Themselves. Themselves. <laughs> but who do, who do we talk about? Ourselves. Yeah. But do they care? Right. No. But who do we keep talking about? Ourselves. So you got this thing mm -hmm. going on. So if you understand that it is a basic dynamic, a basic human need, that people, it's a, it, we have certain human needs when we're born and we develop through life that are established, like security, love, certainty. As we grow through life, there are other secondary needs that start to develop. One of those human secondary needs is the need to talk about yourself. Okay, you have it, I have it, everybody has it. If you understand that that is the way human beings are wired, when you meet someone new, understand 
They don't want to talk about you. They need to talk about themselves. Start living in their world and talking to them. Right. So I have this new book out called Millionaire Success Secrets. Mm -hmm. And it's 33 ways to get in with people and be better leaders and you know just have a better life. And I go through the book, the eyes of getting in with people, meaning the letter I. How do you get in with people? Mm -hmm. One is always approach people and think to yourself, what interests this person? So when you're talking to somebody, first ask yourself, what is interesting to this person? What are they interested in? Number two, what's important to this person? So when you're engaged in a conversation, you should be you know, having your little computer thing running saying, hmm, what, what interests her? Because I want to talk about that. Number two, what's important to her? I want to talk about that. And then the third is this, and this is great, man. People just magnetically attract to you when you do this. What inspires me about her or him? And then you talk to that. So for example, you know what inspires me about you? What? How you juggle everything. Your mom, you do this great podcast, you do work for others, you keep your dad in line, which I don't know how you do that. <laughs> right? And you know, when people like yourself have three, four, five major things going on, that inspires me. It's like, oh. how do you do it all? Right? Thank you. So, yeah, okay, how'd you feel? I felt really good. <laughs> and you know what? I didn't say anything about myself. Right. I just said what's important to her, what interests her, or what inspires me, and then I verbalized it mm -hmm. to you. Right. So imagine doing that when you're engaged in a conference. You go to an event, like a, you know, some sort of community event or a conference or something, and you talk to people in that manner, the craziest thing happens. You walk away from them after, and they love you, and they felt great, and here's the cool thing. They don't even know anything about you. Right. But they seek you out to find you because mm -hmm. of how you made them feel. Well, that's so interesting because I think, okay, I have my podcast, and I'm building my audience, and my video, and I'm, you know, balancing life as a mom. And for me, I'm always, and I think everyone, they're always thinking about what the, could they do better, and I'm not doing it good enough. But from your perspective, you're like, wow, she's how really she do doing well balancing it. How does she do it all? So. If you help, you know, and then that literally, just as you said that in this video, we didn't plan this out. I'm like, wow, that's so cool that he thinks that about me and I'm so inspired and, yeah. you know, so. So just always remember the three eyes. Oh, what uh, interests this person? Because remember, the whole key is live in their world. Right. Don't talk about you, live in their world. So what inspires, I'm sorry, what uh, interests this person? What's important to this person? And what inspires me about this person? And then talk about those things in the three I categories to that person and watch how they magnetically attract to you. Awesome. You provided so much value in this episode. How can people learn more about you? Oh, cool. Uh, go to www.millionairefreebook.com. Yes, that is a free book. Go to millionairefreebook.com. You just cover the shipping and handling and you get an actual 150 page hardcover book shipped to you in the mail. It's a $25 book. Millionairefreebook.com. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah. <laughs>